My name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a consultant cardiologist in York. Today I wanted to do a video on the subject of ectopic heartbeats or PVCs, premature ventricular complexes. Uh, one of the commonest questions I get asked on my YouTube channel is from uh, women and they ask, you know, whenever I get my periods, my uh, palpitations, my ectopics get worse. Is there a link? Um, and the answer is there's definitely a link you know there is no doubt in my experience everyone i've spoken to women of childbearing age they'll all say or women of you know women who are who are having periods will always say things get worse around my periods so whilst this is an observation i was keen to see if there was any research that had been published on this um, i did do a video entitled women ectopics and hormones several uh, years ago it's still on my youtube channel so that has some information but this is a very interesting study i found in the um, journal entitled pacing and clinical electrophysiology okay and it was published in may 2016 the paper is entitled the effects of female sex hormones on ventricular premature beats and repolarization parameters in physiological menstrual cycle so a mouthful uh, but if you type this in Google or um, or PubMed, then you'll find the paper. Uh, the lead author is a gentleman called Dogan, D-O-G-A-N. Okay, and the last author is Davulsu, D-A-V-U-L-C-U. And basically, what these guys did is they said, look, let's do um, a monitor, a 24-hour halter monitor, to assess the heart rhythm in a bunch of women. Uh, uh, of reproductive age okay so these are women with re of reproductive age who were complaining of ventricular premature beats and what they did was they did a halter whilst they were having their periods and also uh, about um, uh, 12 to 14 days before their period which is when they have their estimated ovulation period so they did a halter 12 to 14 days before the period and during the period and what they found was really interesting that actually when you look at calculate the number of ectopic beats they were getting pvcs they were getting they were getting an average of 210 beats a day during their menstruation period um, but this decreased to 86 beats per day when uh, they were ovulating so it seemed that you certainly get a significantly higher almost threefold higher um, uh, number of pvcs during menstruation compared to the ovulation period and the authors concluded that perhaps the estrogen peak that women have during their ovulation period protects them in some way against pvcs so if you are someone who's experiencing pvcs during uh, periods that is part and parcel of the hormones and the fact that hormones, uh, the hormonal changes can cause the PVC. So I hope this reassures you and gives you some insight into what may be going on. Now, uh, I was keen to put this video out, A, to answer this question, B, to tell you that the Heart Health Weekend is only two, two and a half weeks away. Um, and we would love to meet up with you. Uh, so if you are interested in coming, if you're in uh, New York and in particular in the Westchester area in New York and you'd like to come, please um, uh, register on www.hearthealthweekend.com. Uh, on the 4th, there's a series of really interesting seminars. I will be talking about how you can interpret an ECG. I'll be talking about how you can interpret cardia readings. I'll be talking about the importance of coenzyme Q10. I'll be talking about how to get out of an AF episode if you have it. So I'll be talking about POTS, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, which seems to affect a lot of young people, particularly in the West. So I'll be talking about tons and tons of stuff. And then uh, on the 5th of August, which is a Sunday, I will offer free consultation. So if you've registered and you're there, then you can book to have a 15 minute chat with me where I can discuss specific uh, issues that are relevant to you. Uh, so if you'd like to come, please uh, register as early as possible because the closing date is only uh, in a few days time. Thank you so much. If you found this useful, please consider sharing.